Welcome. In front of me is a Nero Tables Titan, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. And as you can see, the phone in front of me is locked, so we can begin. So, to get started, you will need to be connected to Wi Fi, and from there, you can either stop on the Wi Fi page and try to use a different Wi Fi to have a field working type, or just get to the verification right here where I am. Now, it doesn't really matter. Whenever you do tap on the field where you can actually type something, the keyboard will come up and you want to just type in any kind of random letters. Doesn't really matter what it is. From there, hold it and then tap on the three dots and go to assist. Now when it opens it up for the first time, it will bring up something to basically agree to terms of service. So just select I agree. And then in the field right here, you want to type in Chrome OH or ch and it will bring up uh, chrome app as you can see right here so select it and again once you open the uh, chrome browser it will bring up the uh, i agree and then you don't want to log in so select no thanks and from here navigate into hard reset that info as i can see i am right now so simply type in hard reset that info and it will take you right over here I uh, tap on the three bars right here, go to the download category and on the search field right there for the download type in Android 8 there we go and search for it this will bring up only a single result uh, Google account protection bypass and Android 8 application so from here you want to tap on download scroll down and then, as you can see, there's another download link, so you want to hold it and select Open in Incognito tab. And this will begin the download. Now, I'm going to select it to replace it, and it doesn't really matter here. Once it's done downloading, I can open it up. Now, this will open up the folder right here. And uh, there will be a little bit of a difference of how it looks like for me because I tried this already and uh, just kind of didn't realize that there is a three dot option under the uh, recent button. So when you try to install it, it will tell you that you need to basically update permissions and it will open up settings and simply scroll down and you will have the option to uh, enable the unknown sources. So once you check that on, you can simply go back and then tap on the link again because it will take you back here so tap on it again and select install and the unknown sources uh, check mark will only be done once so once you agree to it uh, you don't have to do anything else so then when you install it click on open this will open up the app and from here you want to select the google account manager apk install for version 6.0 and again install and once this is done installing, you will click on done. So done. And from here, tap on bypass FRP, select browser sign in. And then as, uh, that's basically where I finished previously. So normally there will be three dots, but because this is a super old device, uh, the three dots is basically under the square right here. Hopefully it's visible. Uh, but all you, all you want to do is hold these or press the square for recent and it will bring up this browser sign in. So tap on it and then choose OK. And this will take you to a different page. Once it actually loads, there we go. And from here you can log in with your Google account. Now, um, if you don't have an account, you can always create one. On, I would advise you to do it on your computer, uh, even though you have the option to do it right here. I strongly suggest to do it on a computer. Uh, you can also use an existing account if you have one. Um, doesn't need to be any kind of old account or new. Uh, so if you want, you can create basically a trash account simply for this. And once you have it, use it to log in. can see I have my own so that's what I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna put in a password for this there 
and let's log in. And as you can see, uh, it will take you back to the app right here. So from here, hold the power key and select reboot. I'm gonna put in the pin for the SIM card. And from here, let's go through the setup process. So, so as you can see, it tells us that account was added right now. In normal circumstances, it will also provide the account that we have added. And it's basically referring to the uh, login that we have done right before the reboot of the device. So simply tap on next. This is also the page that would previously tell us that uh, we need to verify the account. Uh, and now it's kind of thinking that we have added a new account. So all we want to do right now is finish up the setup process. But keep in mind that the device is still not unlocked. So once we're done with the setup right here, we'll need to go into the settings and perform a reset of the device, which at that point will unlock the device fully. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have the email and let's just skip this. So not now, I'm gonna keep this one that we have added. Then I'm gonna deselect the protection, skip, skip anyway. Scroll down, don't restore, next. And then click on home button and it should be on the home screen. And from here, we will need to go into the settings. Stop on the settings icon and scroll down to backup and reset. And then at the bottom, factory data reset, which will provide us with the information that performing this will remove things like our oh, Google account, which provides it down here. So as you can see that's the account that I have added, but it will also remove the account that was blocking us. So tap on reset phone, erase everything, and now. And now it will basically will begin unlocking itself. So all we need to do is wait for the reset of the device to finish and we should be back in the setup screen. So I'll be back once that is actually visible. And as you can see now the process finished. So let's confirm it. This is the pin for the SIM card which is in the device. So from here, we can go through the setup process of the device and the same around, you can add whatever you want. So we can also skip connection to Wi-Fi, which would not be possible if the device would be still locked. So let's skip anyway. I'm gonna skip through most of this, but you can set it up as however you like. And there we go, we're done with the setup. As you can see, there was no need to verify anything. That's because the device is now fully unlocked. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.